I'm Soham, and I'm going to talk to you about how you can easily turn your website into a progressive web app, or PWA, for the sidebar in Microsoft Edge. PWAs allow your website to be more than just a regular browser tab and integrate natively with various surfaces. For example, PWAs can be installed to desktop, mobile, and mixed reality operating systems, packaged and distributed through app stores like the Microsoft Store on Windows or Play Store on Android, access hardware, sensors, and local storage, build native widgets, render offline, send notifications, and so much more. In short, the developer promise of PWAs is that you can build once using web standards that are implemented cross-browser and cross-platform, and have your web app adapt to a variety of different devices and contexts by making small, incremental code enhancements. And today, we're focusing on a new such enhancement that allows your web app to be hosted within the sidebar in Microsoft Edge. The sidebar is a novel browser interface for pinning and launching frequently used web apps. When an app is launched from the sidebar, the browser's frame is partitioned into a primary region of tabs that comprise the user's main workflow and a secondary, narrower pane to perform transient, contextual, or side-by-side -side tasks. You've probably seen the sidebar popularized by the new Bing chat and Copilot experiences that allow users to ask questions, summarize information, or create text and images while staying within the context of their primary tab. But the sidebar isn't just limited to apps built by Microsoft. It is intended to be a canvas for you to showcase your web apps. So the sidebar presents a great opportunity for web developers to reach new audiences and serve new multitasking scenarios with existing websites, and to do so with minimal incremental enhancements to existing code. Let's take a look at how to build a sidebar app. First, you'll need to configure your site's web app manifest, which is a JSON file hosted on your server with information about your app's appearance and capabilities. Adding this manifest, by the way, doesn't necessarily mean that your site is going to be installable as a native mobile or desktop app. If you wish to target only the sidebar, simply set the display member to browser. Next, add the Edge side panel member to your manifest. This signals that your web app is compatible with the sidebar and can be promoted within it. Edge will use this and other members from your manifest, including name, short name, descriptions, icons, and categories to create UI that allows users to easily discover and pin your sidebar app. Your app should support a minimum width of 376 pixels and implement a responsive user interface because the sidebar is meant to be narrow and can be resized by users. If you're unable to start at 376 pixels for whatever reason, you may override the default by using the preferred width property, though it's strongly recommended to keep this width as narrow as possible. And finally, you can detect when your app is being used within the sidebar to serve a tailored user experience. You could choose to, for example, build a custom variant or repurpose one that was designed for narrower mobile or tablet interfaces. Sidebar apps will receive a desktop user agent, and you can inspect the client hint for the Edge side panel brand. Now let's put these steps into practice and build a real sidebar app with Dave from Meta. Thanks, Soham. Since Edge first introduced the sidebar, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger have been top apps that highlight the best of this new feature. Meta's family of apps aim to bring people together, and the side-by-side -side experiences enabled by the sidebar make it easier to stay connected. For example, I've used it while chatting with my family on Messenger and browsing for airfare together for an upcoming vacation. Although our native desktop apps bring more featured experiences, the sidebar apps give people a great option when they want to multitask. Let's see what browsing Instagram looks like as a sidebar app. Instagram was an easy fit for the sidebar because it both has a responsive web layout and is already available as a progressive web app. Aside from a change to our web manifest, there really wasn't any additional effort required to get the sidebar app running. It automatically picks up Instagram's latest changes, doesn't require app updates, and supports features like notifications. For example, without any new code, when I receive a push notification on Instagram, the sidebar displays a subtle badge and invites me to re-engage whenever I get updates. Because Instagram already had a web manifest, since we distributed PWA through the Microsoft Store, adding sidebar support was essentially a one-liner. I just added the Edge side panel member to our web manifest so Edge's crawler can discover us. Here's what that looks like. All you need is the Edge side panel member 
and you can even specify additional enhancements based on how you want the sidebar app to appear. And whatever we include in the manifest, like icons or descriptions, will be picked up by the sidebar so people can easily search for the apps in their catalog. The last thing I want to mention is programmatically detecting the sidebar on the client or server side. Unlike some PWA services, the sidebar provides user agent client hints and a differentiated user agent string. That means we can classify web usage and measure trends to help us prioritize how we invest in the web. We're really excited to see the innovations in the web like this and bring new value to people from our apps across the web and desktop. Thanks, and over to you, Soham. We're excited to have Meta build with us, and we hope that you will too. Microsoft Edge is committed to amplifying your investments in the web by automatically promoting your sidebar apps across multiple prominent UI surfaces. For example, Edge will use information from the web app manifest to create listings in a personalized recommendation feed within the customized sidebar page. No additional developer effort is required on your part. We are also exploring in-browser UI that encourages users to try out your sidebar app if it meets certain criteria for relevance. The sidebar is a new interface that we expect will empower you to build for the web in new ways, and we envision these apps being able to do much more in the coming months. For instance, we are investigating ways to map existing PWA features to the sidebar, including app shortcuts that allow you to quick launch to a specific page or action within your app, a dedicated start URL property that would allow you to define a custom landing page for the sidebar and a richer notification system. We also hope to standardize support across similar sidebar interfaces by collaborating with browser vendors and the broader web community. While the Edge Site Panel member is implemented for Microsoft Edge only at present, we're designing this feature via a public explainer where we welcome your collaboration and feedback. So do take a look at our documentation and samples, use the public explainer to give us feedback on our roadmap and design, and add the Edge Site Panel member to your web app manifest. All of the bits needed to build sidebar apps are available in Microsoft Edge today. <laughs>